because look at the scent on my skin. My skin is clearing up real good. Mm. I'm proud of myself and my routine. But anyway, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Dynasia and I'm here to vlog my life, me starting over, me trying to get my shit together, me figuring out adulting basically. So, if y'all didn't know, I got laid off in October 2023. Today is February 19th. It's Monday of 2024. Starting a new week. And since I got laid off, I've been trying to figure out me, who I am in this season, what I want, what I want to do moving forward, and how just to pick up the pieces again. Because getting laid off is like... <clears throat> It's life changing, excuse me. <clears throat> it really is life changing, especially if you don't have the financial reserves to get yourself through this period of being unemployed. So, what I've been doing for the last four weeks, this is the fifth week, it's my last week, I've been taking a CNA course, um, you know, just to see if I like it. And it was free. Yes, I found a free course. It was free. And um, you know, I just decided, decided to take that leap of faith, see if I like it, and if I like it, then I'm just gonna go back to school to pursue my earning. But that's the plan for now, for now, and it's very, very long term. Like I said, short term CNA work, make some money, and see what else is out there. Um, it has been very, very emotional it's been a lot of gratefulness it's been a lot of ungratefulness as i can say you know just figuring out asking like why me why is it happening to me out of everybody <laughs> but i can't sit and wallow in that um so i gotta you know keep moving forward also my lease is up in like two months it's very yeah two months april i gotta be out of there do I know where I'm going? No, I don't. I do have two options that I can choose from. But I kind of know where I'm leaning towards. But at the same time, it's like... Um, I kind of want to stay here. But I feel like <clears throat> I'm forcing myself to stay here. And it's making me even more stressed. And I don't want to stress myself if I don't have to. So, you know, if something lines up for me to stay, then sure, why not? But if it just makes more sense for me to go, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to force myself, like I said, stress myself out even more. But, <clears throat> you know, we'll see when that time comes what that decision is. Um... But yeah, it's just been very, very emotional. And I do thank God for my support system, my friends, my family. And I feel like emotional support is more important than financial support because honestly, if your mental ain't together, you can't, like, it's like, it's more turmoil than what needs to be, but if you are stable emotionally, you have somebody to talk to, um, then I feel like, you know, you could conquer and get through anything. So I really thank my family and friends for being there to listen to me, even if I talk about the same thing over and over again. <laughs> but <clears throat> sometimes you just need that. But um, I got here mad early. But yeah, like today, so this week is the last week we supposed to be going to a um, nursing home to do like clinicals, but supposedly the nursing home we were going to, there's like some type of sickness going around, so we can't do that this week. So I'm not sure what they're gonna have us doing today, so they just told us to come back to the school and we're gonna have clinicals there, so we'll see what that's like. I don't know if I'll be able to vlog in there. <laughs> but yeah. It's been really fun. Like I've been having, enjoying myself, learning a new skill, and meeting new people. It's really, it's really a 
<laughs> it's a really small class. It's only eight of us in the class. Um, oh yeah, I did tell you it's free. So let me tell y'all, if y'all in Houston or just around the area, take advantage of this. So y'all probably already know about the Chinese Community Center, but if y'all don't, that is um, the resource that I'm doing the CNA course for free. Um, they have like sponsors and people that donate, so they're able to do courses for free. So they do have CNA, they got EKG, they got phlebotomy, they got HVAC, they got, um, I think it's like electrician, don't quote me on that, I gotta look. And I know they do also have, you help you get your CDL, you wanna drive trucks. Um, <clears throat> but that's all the bases that I know. <clears throat> they do, and they partner with different schools. So the school that they partner with for CNA is Academy of Exceptional Health Training and Academy of Exceptional Health Training. They also have their own, um, you know, their own little school. So CCC is just a partner for them. So if you want to just go through straight to the academy, you could do that as well. It is costly. It's like 1600 uh, two of the girls in the class are peeing out of pocket, but it's six of us. Did I say eight of us? Well, it's six of us that's um, <clears throat> through CCC. The only thing with CCC, I will say, is you do have, you have to take a post tape before they let you start the CNA course. Then you have to do, it's like conceptualized classes where you go over like reading and math. To me, that's like so redundant because like I know all this stuff, but it's a requirement. And I keep telling myself it's free, so I just do the shit. And you, all for the whole five weeks, you have to do that that course. <clears throat> and then after the five weeks, you have to take. Did I say post tape? I mean the post tape was the last week. You have to take a pre tape, and then after the course, you take a post tape to see if your scores improved. And I guess that's just like a requirement for the person that's donating the money. They just want to make sure that people are learning and doing the class or whatever. But I just feel like it's repetitive. I mean, it's helping me with some refresher stuff, but to really educate me, no. So that's why I feel like it's a waste of my time. But it's free. <laughs> I keep telling myself it's free. And it can be really long days. Like I had to get up at like six. Make sure I leave out by seven because I didn't know how the traffic was going to be today because sometimes it takes me 45 minutes. I'm in Katy. I think this is Southwest Houston. I don't know these areas. I think it's Southwest. Um, so it could take me a good 45 minutes to get here. Today it took me like 30-ish. So it wasn't too bad. Um, so yeah, I got up at six, left out by seven because the class started at eight. Then from 8 to 12, you're in a class. You get like an hour or some change for lunch. Then you gotta go back to the class. It was from 1.30 to 3, but because we had to make up hours and because like a lot of people were driving far, it's 1.45 to 4 now. And then yeah, by the time you get home, it's already 5 o'clock, 5, 6 o'clock. So it can be a long day. But if you're paying out of pocket, you don't have to do the conceptual class. It's just a requirement at CCC. So your days will be shorter. You do 8 to 12, boom, go home, call it a day. But like I said, CCC, it's free. I'd rather save my $1,600 and thug it out and <laughs> do the requirements. Um, I'm trying to, where's my song? I'm trying to think of what else I need to say about the CCC. Oh yeah, and if you miss your hours, you won't have to make them make them up. So just go every day. If you do decide to do, just go every day. Just push through, so you don't have to make up the hours at the end. Even like one of the teacher had called out, and even though it wasn't our fault, we still had to make up the hours because we got to reach. I think it was like what, forty hours is required for the conceptual class, I think, yeah. So, I think I only have to make up one day. I think we all have to make up one day because the teacher, I don't know, maybe he quit. I don't know what happened to him. But we ended up getting a new teacher and yeah, we had to, um, we had to cancel a class to wait for the teacher to come. 
But um, I think that's all I had to say about CCC for right now and my journey where I'm at. Uh, class price starting 10 minutes at 7.50. I just wanna be in my bed right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to head in and I'll get back with y'all once the class is done. Hey y'all, I'm back, it's the afternoon. So we finish our morning period from eight to 12. And then, um, so we kinda like on a lunch break right now. And I want the firehouse subs. I didn't know that freaking firehouse subs warm up the sandwiches if you don't ask, like, if you don't ask them. I thought it was a given that it'll be a cold sub unless you ask for it to be warmed up. Like, that just threw me off. I had got a honey roasted turkey. When I got my shit, I'm like, why is it hot? Like, I just saw steam, like, why is it hot? I tried it, it was good, but it's not my preference. If I want a, a turkey sandwich, it's gonna be cold cut, unless it's like, you know, shredded turkey breast from a turkey that's cooked, like Thanksgiving. That makes sense. But, oh my God. This big ass bug. And why is it on my car? It's February, like why is there bugs outside? Like, that's why I don't understand. But anyway, so today class was cool. We just was reviewing um, all our hands-on skills, practicing on the mannequins, and of course each other, because some of the skills you do have to do on a real person. And then we went over um, some test questions that's gonna be on the written part of the state exam. Dr. Lee and just went over um, went over some material and stuff like that so now I'm waiting for the conceptualized part of the class to start which I said is the reading and math um, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing today but I think she said we're going to do the practice test I don't know but I got like 40 minutes of downtime so I'm probably gonna start reading over some of these chapters um, this is our book I believe it's on Amazon too you pay $50 for it but this is the book got some um, good material in here we just we didn't really use the book like that for class because they had PowerPoints and stuff made up for it already um, so we just did that when we was reviewing with um, one of the other instructors is Madison. So, but it's I got a lot of good notes and pointers in here. It was stuff that she was asking. I remember, oh, well, I read that because we didn't necessarily go over it in like the lecture part. So, it's helpful. It was only like 50 bucks. I think it's like $30 on Amazon. But um, again, CCC paid for it. So, why not? <laughs> but they said we didn't really need it for the class. And these are like all my notes. Everything is. I laid it to the gods, note taking, um, you know, little cheat sheets. I don't know if you can see. Probably the lighting is horrible, but whatever. Cheat sheets, I got more notes in my notebook. So I'm probably just gonna review, like I said, go through stuff. Dr. Lee got videos on YouTube as well for Prometric, cause that's who we do our state exam with. And she go through all the scales step by step on uh, how to perform each scale so you pass your test and I'm probably just gonna do that for now and then go to class then go home I don't know what I'm doing I go home I do need to work out and that's the thing too like I be want to get up in the morning early before I have to come here because I'm trying to go to the gym once again <laughs> and just going to the gym in the middle of the day blows my shit like i just want to go in the morning and get it over with but it's hard to wake up like i have to get up at six to leave at seven so that means i have to get up at five so i can go work out be done by six shower and stuff so i can be out by seven and my nighttime i don't go to bed that early that's what i need to do 
start going to sleep earlier so I can get up earlier and get certain things done. So let me start with some time. I'm going to just review this stuff and um, come back later and check in with y'all. Show y'all what I do later, I guess. I'm home now. It is 5.02. I got home like 10 minutes ago. I'm drained, but we're gonna go to the gym. Even though I really don't want to. I just put my hair in this little claw clip in the back just to get out my face, but I'm just going to probably just do a little incline walk. Nothing too crazy. And call it a day. So I did sign it. And I'll probably do a little bit of abs. Or core training. Not necessarily abs. <sighs> I'm tired as hell, y'all. I'm tired. But three more days left. And we're done. The class. I still got two tests. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> the hard part. Alright. So let's head out to the gym. She moved out of state, shit that went left, she seeking forgiveness She used to dance, but she went alone, start up a business Her daddy was not around, her mama was not around I watch her climb up the top of the pole and then get sliding down I make it rain in this bitch, I make it snow in this bitch She trying to get out of the mix, shawty was going to jail Shawty was going to jail, me I'm supporting this shit this is a story that came from my life and I'm just recording this shit I'ma just give it to you direct instead of me throwing this shit You know you important this shit, you know I'm supporting this shit We used to do pornos when you would come over but now you got morals and shit I got like four on the wrist and an adorable kid I got a Drake in the studio and I don't just mean that I'm in this bitch Please make the most of this shit, don't just come close to some shit I give you this bread, you run me some head and then you go blow up a beat she moved out of state and shit that went left, she's seeking forgiveness She used to dance but she went alone and start up a business Her daddy was not around, her mama was not around I watch her climb on the top of the pole and they get sick. I make it rain in this bitch, I make it snow in this bitch She trying to get out of the mix She moved out of state and shit that went left, she's seeking forgiveness She used to dance but she went alone and start up a business Daddy was not around, my mama was not around I watch her climb up the top of the pole and then get sliding down I make it rain in this bitch, I make it snow in this bitch She tryna get out of the mix, shawty was going to G 
Shawty was going legit. Yeah, I'm supporting the shit. This is a story, you came for my life, and I'm just supporting the shit. I'ma just give it to you, do that, instead of me throwing this shit. You know you important this shit. You know I'm supporting this shit. We used to do pornos when you would come over, but now you got morals and shit. I got like four on the wrist, and an adorable kid. I got a Drake in the studio, and I don't just mean that I'm in this bitch. Please make the most of this shit. Don't just come close to some shit. I give you this bread, you run me some head, and then you go blow up a beat. She moved out of state, and shit then went left, she's seeking forgiveness. She used to dance, but she went alone and started a business. Her daddy is not around, her mama is not around. I watch her climb on the top of the pole, and they get sick. I make it rain in this bitch, I make it snow in this bitch. She trying to get out of the mix. Shawty was going to jail. Shawty was going to jail. Me, I'm supporting this shit. This is a story that came from my life, and I'm supporting this shit. Her daddy is not around, her mama is definitely not around. Oh, <laughs> I'm back. Say hey, y'all. It's the same day. I'm just coming to a little update. I had to take a shower. I had to decompress and just relax for a little bit. But I can't believe today it was the last day of CNA class. Um, yeah, I'm just excited to be finished. Uh, my exam is scheduled for March the 5th, which is two weeks. So I have some time to do some more studying and stuff like that and just prepare. Um, again, next week on Wednesday, I have to still do the post tape, but whatever, we're going past that. But it's not really a pass or fail. Again, it's just showing your level of knowledge and then they just want you to improve um, from your previous score. But yeah, I'm just ready to see where this takes me. I've just been thinking about my next steps. So of course, do the CNA course. Well, not the CNA course, do the state exam. Um, pass that. And another thing I learned, I didn't know that it was like a state by state basis. I thought it was like, <laughs> I don't know what that is. That was like the Oregon license where you can just transfer it over. But apparently not. I guess, you know, every state is different for different type of facilities and regulations, all that other stuff, so I get it. But it's like, if I leave, I can't be like a licensed CNA somewhere else until I take another course. And I was lucky to find this one for free. So I don't know if there's any other programs in other states that provide free training. So that's also something I'm considering. I'm also considering what well, I've been thinking about doing an accelerated BSN program because I do have a bachelor's degree already. So I'm thinking about that. But again, it just all comes down to where I'm moving. And I wish I can just make a decision. It's just like so many things are pending and I'm just waiting for answers. So I know where to go. Well, maybe no answer is the answer. <sighs> I don't know, but that's what I've been thinking about lately and that's what my plan is so far. Um, I do know a lot of people have negative thoughts about nursing in the healthcare industry. Like I know what I'm getting myself into. Um, I know it's different when you're actually working in it and living in it versus watching a video. It's different, but I feel like every job or every career field has its toxicity. So there's no escaping that. It's just a matter of how you manage it and work through it. And with nursing, of course, there's plenty of avenues that I can take. Like, I don't have to do bedside, which I probably would do for like maybe a year to get some experience and then branch off to something else, but I don't have to do that my whole career. So like, I've weighed my options. I kind of have an idea of what route I want to go. Um, I'm not gonna say if I pursue, but when I pursue, because that's just been heavy in my mind since like, you know, 
I got laid off. It was something that just came to me. I wasn't even looking at videos. I was looking at nothing. I was just like trying to find a job, looking through on Indeed. And maybe there's something that God put on my heart because, you know, like I'm caring. Um, I'm just like, I want to say humane. Is that a word? I'm a humane person. Well, I just like to make sure people are being taken care of. I like to make sure people are getting right treatment or right information and people are being treated fairly like i don't know maybe that's why i feel a push towards that direction because i know how the healthcare field can be especially with nurses of color or doctors of color and patients of color and maybe i'm being pushed to that that field so you know make a change in some way or I'm gonna come cross paths with somebody that's gonna really need me and I'm gonna be there at the right time to help them and be that person for them. So I feel like this is the direction that I really wanna take and I'm going to take and I'm going to do. Um, you know, when there's a will, there's a way. So I'm probably, I'm probably just gonna start applying. I know it's not cheap, but I'm probably just gonna start applying to programs. Um, let me see. Yeah, I take it. My CNA is March. So probably after March, because you know, I want to keep that material in my head, I'm going to start studying. I think it's like the T's, the ATI. Your T's. Um, what is the HESI? I have to I have to remember the entrance exam types for which programs. Um, so I'm probably going to document some of that tonight on an Excel sheet. Try to keep myself organized and find programs that's affordable that I can get into because I'm not trying to break the bank because one of them was like $90,000 and I said for what like <laughs> but I understand teacher fees and all that stuff but like god damn like I may finish paying off my other student loans but anyway um that's just like a little update yeah I'm just really happy to finish the class part and looking forward to taking the exam to make it official um you know, it was a bittersweet day. I really enjoyed the teachers that I had. They were all really good, um, very knowledgeable, um, very experienced. I think Dr. Lee was a nurse for like 40 plus years, um, her sister as well. And then Miss um, Madison, she just transitioned into nursing. So I think she has like four or five years under her belt, maybe more than that, maybe six. I don't really remember. I know she has other um, experience in healthcare. I think she was a respiratory therapist first and then she transitioned into nursing. So I was in really good hands in the class and um, yeah, just really excited. So they're definitely a resource as well. I know I can reach out to them if I need help with something or you know, just need some advice. Um, they're really knowledgeable and gave really great tips and stuff with progressing in the career and other, you know, career fields within the healthcare industry. Um, but I feel like that's it for tonight. I guess I'll come back to see you guys tomorrow to see what's up. And then it was just a little quick update. Um, just to finish off the day and just gonna relax, look up, do some research, watch Grey's Anatomy. I've been binging that. I'm only on season seven. Um I didn't know it was this good. I've been sleeping on it all these years. Not gonna lie, don't kill me, don't shoot me. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do tonight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.